Elementary students received this email from their principal, which some parents are now calling racist. You're watching What's Trending, I'm Martine Bierman. Make sure to subscribe for more trending news stories daily. Parents of kids attending La Jolla Elementary School in California received an email alert from Principal Donna Trippi on Monday warning parents of a safety concern. Or so Principal Trippi thought. The email voiced a concern from a parent detailing an incident at a local Starbucks. It read, This morning a parent came to see me to report an incident. She was with her two children when an African-American male about 30 years old and about 6'1 to 6'2 dressed in all black and a hooded sweatshirt began staring at her daughter. God forbid you should be tall, an African-American, and wear clothing and look around in a Starbucks. The email goes on to say that nothing actually even happened, but that the parent felt uncomfortable and then left the establishment. And of course, we all need to hear about that. Many parents were angered by the email, claiming that there was no reason to cause alarm over a non-incident. Angry parents also noted that Trippy's description of the man was vague and relied on stereotypical descriptions of black men. Trippy, of course, then apologized in a follow-up email, which read, My email was a mistake. The way I communicated didn't provide enough specifics to identify the individual, but could easily lead to unnecessary and harmful reactions against other members of our community. African American males continue to face discrimination in our society every day. The thought that I unintentionally contributed to that climate with a vague email is something for which I owe our community an apology. Because on top of the fact that you're clearly using racial stereotypes, nothing actually even happened. Like. Why would you then even go to your community and share a non-story? Trippy, however, stands by her concern and believes that the parent had a legitimate fear. State records show that out of the 535 students enrolled at La Jolla Elementary School last school year, only five were black, which made many feel like this concerned parent is just another Becky. Starbucks has gotten some heat for racist patrons within its establishment. Just last spring, two men were arrested at Starbucks for trespassing after sitting down for two minutes. This caused a national uproar, with many people showing their frustration through protests. Starbucks even stopped operations to conduct racial bias training for employees. And Twitter pointed out that maybe the employees were not the only people that could benefit from the training. Back in May when all this went down, the My Leg Fish tweeted, So I work at Starbucks and I have already had three white women ask about the May 29th closing for racial bias training, saying how inconvenient it is. Starbucks, maybe you could use this one day of closing stores down to also educate your customer base about racial bias in this country because they also seem to be so blinded by their privilege they can't even see this bigger picture of just how bad racism is in America. What do you guys think about this principal's email? Let us know in the comments and for more trends head to whatstrending.com.